President and Mr. Speaker, thank you, sir, for those very generous words spoken from the heart about the wonderful performance of our military. Members of Congress, five short weeks ago, I came to this House to speak to you about the State of the Union. And we met then in time of war. Tonight, we meet in a world blessed by the promise of peace. From the moment Operation Desert Storm commenced on January 16th until the time the guns fell silent at midnight one week ago, this nation has watched its sons and daughters with pride, washed over them with prayer. As Commander-in-Chief, I can report to you our armed forces fought with honor and valor. And as President, I can report to the nation, aggression is defeated, the war is over. This is a victory for every country in the coalition, for the United Nations, a victory for unprecedented international cooperation and diplomacy, so well led by our Secretary of State, James Baker. It is a victory for the rule of law and for what is right. Desert Storm's success belongs to the team that so ably leads our armed forces our Secretary of Defense, and our Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Dick Cheney and Colin Powell. And while you're standing, <laughs> this military victory also belo belongs to the one the British call the man of the match, the tower of calm at the eye of desert storm, General Norman Schwarzkopf. <laughs> Let us, recognizing this was a coalition effort, let us not forget Saudi General Khalid, Britain's General de la Billiere, or General Roque Joffre of France, and all the others whose leadership played such a vital role. And most importantly, most importantly of all, all those who served in the field. I I thank the members of this Congress. Support here for our troops in battle was overwhelming. And above all, I thank those whose unfailing love and support sustained our courageous men and women.
I thank the American people.